Hello guys and welcome to my first ever old school RuneScape money making guide. The method I'm going to be showing you in this video is what I did to make money when I first started playing RuneScape again a couple of months back now. You make a good couple of hundred K an hour, I'm going to go and test it in a second, go and do a run of it and then figure out exactly how much I made in an hour. The only requirements you need for this is five fletching, that is it. Uh, you also need to start big chumpy bird hunting, uh, the quest that is. In order to do that though, you don't actually need all the quest requirements, oh sorry, all of these skill requirements, you only need five fletching. I've checked it and I did it before I had all the requirements as well, so don't you worry guys. You also need a couple of feathers, uh, I brought 10,000 just for this guide, they only cost 20k for 10,000. Uh, a knife and a way to get to Feldip Hills. You can buy a Feldip Hills teleport which are currently in the GE for about 3 to 4k. Or if you have the fairy rings unlocked, uh, the fairy code is AKS. I'm going to be showing you the way to get there with the Feldip Hills teleport. Just because that one takes you slightly further away and I can show you from there. So when you click teleport, it'll always teleport you to this location, which is just here. AKS is there and the location we want to go to is just there. If you are a low level, I would recommend bringing some food along with you as well in this guide. I'm quickly just going to run up there now and show you how exactly you do get there. But yeah, there are some ogres here and some wolves, which are quite high level. I think they're in the 50s and 60s. So like I said, if you are a low level and you are worried about dying, just bring some food along with you. There is a safe spot though, which means you will never get hit as long as you um, follow it exactly. So once you hit the fairy ring, just run east. That's all you need to do. You can run east and then a little bit north and there's the trees we want to get to. So you want to run to this side of the trees where I've just clicked now. And once my character gets around there, he's in a complete safe spot. So this area here, you can chop all of these trees down, that tree and that tree, and you'll be completely safe. If you chop that tree, sometimes the ogre will actually go aggressive on you. But if you stay within these ones, you're fine. So the money making method we're going to be doing is just chopping down the achy trees which don't take long to chop at all, especially if you've got a quite a high woodcut level. I did this at about 30 when I first started and it, it wasn't that bad at all. And like I said, once you've chopped some down, I'll quickly show you after this. You want to chop down all the trees and then craft the logs into flighted oak, sorry, into ogre arrow shafts. And then you can even get, I think it's between three and six you can get depending on your look. Once you've done that, add the feathers to them, make 10 sets. And I will quickly do a, a short price check and just show you how much that has actually made me then. So just doing that's already made me 2k and you saw how quick that was. Like I said, if you haven't started the uh, big chompy bird hunting quest yet, it's just over, just over there. You talk to a guy called Rance. I'll show you where it is now. So from this area we need to go to, just run east a little bit. It's not far at all. And the guy is there. I've already done the quest, uh, but if you just talk to him, start the quest and then you'll be able to... Uh, um, chop these trees down and make the flighted ogre arrows. So I'm going to time myself for an hour now and I will join you back at the Grand Exchange once I've finished with how much money I have made. Alright, so I've just completed my hour. Uh, 2,000 flighted ogre arrows. Yours might differ, like I said. You make um, between four, I think it's between, sorry, between two and six ogre shafts per log you actually fletch. So, these price check for a total of 260k. But I'm hoping they'll sell for slightly more than that. And they're selling for 125 at the moment, which isn't the best. They were selling for 150 before. Uh, I'm going to keep them in for one. I'm going to put them in for 120 and see what they actually sell for. So, yeah, it looks like they're going for slightly higher. Like I said, you can hold on to them and make them last a little bit longer. But a 250, 260k an hour isn't too bad at all. Uh, like I said, this is the way I made money when I first started playing RuneScape again, and hopefully it helped you guys out, especially if you want to do something different and get a couple of hundred K behind you. You could probably make anywhere upwards of 300K an hour. I'm watching a stream whilst I'm doing it. I've got a sick nerd on at the moment, so I wasn't paying 100% attention, and if I was, I definitely, definitely could have got more than that per hour. I hope you guys enjoyed this and it's helped you out just a little bit. I'm going to be trying to do one of these videos um, whenever I find a new method of making money. One that isn't widely known, because there's so many out there, it's like, oh, it's kills all over, I'll do this and do that, Like, but there's not many for lower levels as well, and I think that community definitely needs some help with the money-making methods. But thank you very much for watching the video. Enough of me rambling. If you did enjoy the content, make sure you check out my other videos on my channel. I've got a series going at the moment, which is a brand new account from scratch. And I also stream Monday, Thursday and Saturday over on Twitch if you want to check me out. Thank you very much, guys. And I will see you in the next one.